The best advice I got tonight was from Trey Van Dyke when he asked me how I was going to talk about tonight, and I said, I don't know how this is going to go. And he said, don't worry, you're already in. So that's, that, took them, that took some pressure off. I don't have to perform anymore. But um, thank you, everybody. And congratulations to uh, Jay and Bob and, and their daughters, Fran and Holly. Uh, that was pretty awesome to see. I, I've known Jay for, for a while. I've, I've worked with him. I've played against him. And uh, his brother, Jerry, and I are good friends. And I don't know Bob very well, but um, never met him. But I can see tonight. I, feel, I know him a lot better. And it's, it's, it's pretty cool to, uh, to be a part of this. So thank you very much. Um, before I get into reflecting a little bit and, uh, and talking about um, my career and people that meant a lot to me, I want to thank two people, first of all, that helped me get here. Um, John Kaskowski, CEO and President of WGA, for, for being my, 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 uh, my nominator for the award. Thank you, John. And Brian Morrison, head professional at, uh, or director of golf at Olympia Fields, where I'm a an honorary member, I feel, feel very proud about that, but for being my presenter to the, to the committee, and thank you, Brian. And, and, and to the committee, uh, a lot of good friends, a lot of people I've known for a long time, and uh, when the list put, was put up there, that was a pretty, pretty impressive uh, group of people, so thank you very much. Um, I was trying to think about what I want to say tonight. I don't know how long this will take. Um, this is all new to me, but um, I'm a country music fan. And my kids don't like to hear that. Will and Wyatt kind of tease me all the time about that. But I was trying to think what to say. And uh, one of my favorite songs is the Lucky One or Lucky Ones from um, from Pat Green. So I figured, what the heck? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about being lucky because I consider myself a very very lucky person. Um, the people I've known, what I've got to do my whole life, and uh, I'm very lucky. And um, you know, it's 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 that's the word that comes cause it comes to me. I, I work hard at it. I enjoy it. But believe me, without these people behind me, I couldn't have done this. So. Um, let's just start with my parents, Bill and Kay Small. Um, what can I say? You know, they gave me the opportunity to be as good as I can be, and um, I'm not the only Hall of Famer now in the family. If you don't know, my dad is a, a member of the Illinois Basketball Hall of Fame, so Bill Small. So I feel, I feel honored, I feel honored uh, for that. And uh, my mom, if there was a mom, mom's Hall of Fame, be in the Hall of Fame too. So. Um, uh, you know, growing up, they gave me opportunities to uh, to be great and to do what I wanted to do, and they were they were tough on me at times, and I didn't quite understand it at that time. But uh, as I look back at it, um, you know, I understand uh, I understand it now. And uh, but they also didn't get in my way to let me do what I wanted to do, and they would give me a lot of freedom. And uh, I wasn't around a lot when I was a teenager. I was always at the golf course or with my friends, and uh, you know, I appreciate that. So they, you know, it was it was an athletic, accountable. Um, positive family life that uh, you know that, that I appreciate a lot, and uh, you know they just they they let me do my thing and uh, and let me chase my dreams. So thank you very much, mom, dad. Um, I was lucky to grow up in Danville. Believe it or not, not many people think that about Danville nowadays. But growing up, Danville was a was a pretty cool place. You know, a lot of friends that played golf. The only thing about my Danville, it, it was a blue collar town. It was a blue collar atmosphere that uh, that I think. I needed, and I think it helps me to this day that, uh, you know, it was a nice place to grow up, a lot of opportunities, but there wasn't a lot of entitlement. And uh, looking back at the way it was compared to it, was, it is now that, uh, you know, I needed that. And, uh, and I appreciate things a lot more growing up in that, uh, in that atmosphere. Um, a lot of great players, a lot of good players. As I mentioned, I played on the state high school championship team, and, and part of my being able to play the game was being around great players, and be players better than me, and they made me better. Um, the courses were great, and the PGA pros were great. Um, Neil Moore, who's sitting at my table, head pro at Danville Country Club. Uh, Bob Hare was a pro at the Danville Elks Club when I grew up. Those guys were instrumental in, uh, in keeping me in the game, enjoying the game, and Neil helped me a lot when I was you know, having trouble in high school and college. And uh, without his help, you know, I probably wouldn't be here either. So um, lucky to be in Danville, lucky to grow up in such a neat town. Um, now, I, now I get to my wife. Uh, I feel like Steve Stricker up here. <laughs> I usually don't cry. But um, I'd like you to meet my wife, Ann. Uh, the, the, the standing joke in the house is, is that um, her mom, Irene, who's sitting at our table today, um, paid me $50 to ask her out. Um, I, the reality of the thing was is I probably would have <laughs> paid $50 to get her to ask her out. So. But um, you know, that's always a joke. And uh, it was funny. I think we played a lot of two balls together and uh, spent time on the golf course. And I think in my career, um, you know, 
with Ann, she understands the game. She played high school golf, and she knows the game. Doesn't play anymore, but, uh, you know, for what I do and for as much as I'm gone and as much as I practice, I remember, you know, in high school, all the kids are at the pool. She's a lifeguard. They're all there having a good time and swimming, and I'm f about 300 yards away on the putting green, putting. And it, it, she didn't care. It was kind of neat. So she, she understood it. And in college, being gone all the time and missing all the parties, and, and uh, she put up with me there. And so... Like, like I said, you know, she understands the game of golf, and uh, you know, I appreciate that. And you know, needless to say, she's a beautiful woman too. So I got, her, I got the whole package. So thanks. So I'm lucky there. And, and obviously, she gives me my my two boys, Will and Wyatt, who uh, you know, at the age now where maybe Dad's not too cool, but maybe maybe they'll think a little better, different after tonight. But I'm very proud of these boys. You know, believe me, I know high school boys that Dad's not too cool at that, at that age. But uh, um, they do a great job of keeping me humble because, uh, you know, they don't give me a lot of credit for much. So <laughs> when I come home, it's, uh, you know, I win something. Well, there's always a reason why I won it, and, uh, and, and uh, I'm humble. I'm humbled by them, and I think that helps, you know, believe it or not. So, uh, you know, they mean a lot to me, and uh, like I said, sometimes they may, I may not realize it, but, uh, but they do. So, um, but they're a big part of what I do. Um, kind of along the chain here, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to attend the University of Illinois. You know, who knows where I'd be if I didn't go to Illinois, and I had a lot of family ties there, obviously. Um, but um, Ed Beard, who's sitting at my table tonight, my college golf coach, came, he gave me the opportunity to play. And uh, had some other opportunities, but it made a lot of sense to go to Illinois. And, you know, he coached me in a kind of unique way. You know, he always, his way of coaching me was to tell me that I wasn't very good. <laughs> and uh, he was pretty good at convincing me of that. And, uh, um, but I wanted to prove him wrong. I think he knew what buttons to push. So it made me try harder and harder. And, um, you know, he's a good friend. I appreciate what he's done for me. And, you know, things don't change very much because, uh, you know, he got lost coming here tonight. <laughs> we got lost on every trip in four years. So it's, it's <laughs> things, things haven't changed much with Ed. He's, Ed is still the same old guy. Um, uh, you know, school was, uh, you know, we had great teammates. And uh, if I'm not in college playing the same team as Steve Stricker, I don't play the PGA Tour. Um, I tell people that all the time, and uh, I kind of build my team after that. You know, you need the, you need the champion, you need the stud at the top, and uh, playing golf against Steve every day for $5 Nassau's back in the 80s was a big deal. And I learned to play, and, uh, you know, Don Edwards and, and our team, having won the Big Ten Championship my last year, um, that was a big part of it. So once again, I was surrounded by very positive and good players. And, um, you know, again, I think that's just lucky. I mean, a lot of guys go to schools that are not surrounded by great players like that, and if... Uh, you know, if Steve wasn't, wasn't there, who knows where I'd be, to be honest with you. And uh, like, I, like you said, we're still great friends. We're in each other's weddings, and we still have a good laugh with each other. And I tell you what, someday I'm going to tell some strict stories that's going to blow you away, but I can't quite do that yet. Um, I'm lucky to have a great friend named Art Wyatt. I'm sure many of you here know Art Wyatt. And uh, Art was a big player and a big person in the, in the WGA, an Illinois grad, a friend of the family um, from my dad when he played at Illinois back in the day in basketball. And... Um, I, I know unequivocally I would not be standing here today uh, if it wasn't for art. Um, you know, everybody needs a mentor. Everybody needs somebody to to, uh, to, to motivate them and encourage them, but also to to, uh, to finance them <laughs> when they turn pro. And uh, Art Wyatt um, is a legend in the accounting business, but he's also a, uh, a legend in golf in the state of Illinois, and he's a legend in helping people, helping young men. He helps them very, 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 a lot of a lot of kids reach their dreams, and uh, doesn't have a family of his own, but he kind of took me under his wing and uh, financed me when I first turned professionally, and and um, we spent on the, you know took a couple trips with with each other, and Art's 80, I mean 85, 86 years old. He's in Florida now. He couldn't make it tonight, but I talked to him yesterday, and uh, you know w without his encouraging and his honestly his you know and his his backing, I'd be working at a bank right now, you know I'd be doing something like that. And uh, I wouldn't be as happy as I am now. So uh, without, without that, again, I'm lucky to, to, to have known and Art Wyatt and had him along the way. Um, I'm lucky to have the ability to play professional golf. Um, after Art helped me get out there, I learned my, my trades on the, on, the, on the tours and almost every tour in the world. I could joke with people. It's about every tour but the LPGA tour. And, uh, you know, I worked my way, and I'd fail, and he'd, he'd bring me up, and my family and Ann would bring me up, and I'd fail, and I'd get a little better and better, and I finally played the PGA tour. And, and um, you know, I thank I thank the Lord for giving me the the ability to do that. And uh, 
and 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 the endurance and the and, and the commitment to keep doing that. And uh, you know, without him, obviously, obviously, um, a lot of us don't uh, pay much pay pay much attention to to the Lord for that for those things. And um, you know, I'm lucky for that, so that I was brought up in that arena. Um, playing professional golf, I learned hands on from the best players in the world. I was fortunate to play with. You know, guys on the PGA Tour, and to this day, it helps me coach. And uh, I wouldn't be hey, being such a good coach today if I didn't have the opportunity to play on the PGA Tour. Um, I'm lucky to be a coach. I'm lucky to be doing what I love to do. It's kind of weird how it's my second career, but um, it's something when I was in college, I always thought it'd be kind of neat to do. I mean, I enjoyed college golf so much, and I enjoyed the experience of it so much that um, I thought, well, heck, this might be something I'd like to do someday. And, and I'll, if I don't play the PGA Tour, and I don't have the success playing. I don't think that Illinois gives me the job and offers me the to come back and and uh, follow Ed and um, and try to build something special at Illinois. So, um, you know, I, and I thank Ron Gunther, the athletic director at Illinois, who had the and, and Ed. Ed, uh, you know, those two got together and and kind of uh, helped me get the job, so to speak. And um, without that opportunity, without those uh, those knowing those those great people, I wouldn't have this opportunity opportunity to to, to stay in the game and to still compete on my own. Um, I'm thankful and lucky for my players. I learned so much from these guys, and, and I stay young. I'm 47 years old, but I feel mentally like I'm 21 or 22, and I think that's from being around young kids and staying, staying vibrant. And, and believe it or not, I learned so much from these guys, and I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to – I think my game still is in a state that uh, I can compete because I'm around good players all the time. And, um, you know, I think we impart a lot of – positive things on them, like the video said, but they impart a lot of positive things on me, and, uh, and I think it helps me um, in my playing. Um, the big thing is I'm very lucky. I thought about, trying to, when I was thinking about what, what to say, say tonight, is um, I'm lucky for my great friendships. Um, having played the PGA Tour and having a lot, a lot of friends that still play, it can be, it can be a, lonely, a lonely life. Um, you win on Sunday, and on Monday, nobody cares. They're out to beat you the next week. And when you win on Sunday, you have your wife and your kids to celebrate with, and that's about it. Um, now back coaching and being at the University of Illinois, I have more friends and more close people than I ever thought I would have. Um, evidence by tonight. I have guys over here that, out of the blue, just come, came and, uh, and want to support me, and they've become friends of the program, friends of mine. And, guys, I really appreciate you coming tonight. It means a lot. And... Uh, um, you know, that's just a, a microcosm of what, I, of what I know. I mean, my, my, my fellow coaches and my, um, at the department at Illinois and other coaches, and uh, my life is very, very full in the game of golf, whether I win or lose, because of the friendships that I've made. And without coaching, I wouldn't do that. If I was playing professional golf and I was on the PGA Tour, maybe finishing 100th on the money list every year, I wouldn't have the experiences and I wouldn't have the, the life I have if I was doing that compared to what I'm doing now. And I firmly believe that. And, and um, you know, the people at the, I mean, it's, it's amazing how our program and my career has grown and the people I've met over the life uh, of the last, last 13 years is just, I, I mean, I reflect on that a lot and it's a pretty wholesome life. It really is. Um, I'm also lucky uh, to be able to still play competitive golf and have an, have an avenue to do that. And I, I really appreciate the PGA of America and the only PGA, what they do and give us a place to play. Um, as, as, as Bob was saying, you know, back in the day, pros could go, go play anywhere, but now it's so competitive and such a different game that it's, sometimes it's hard to find a place to play. And, and the section here with Michael Miller and his staff and Jared and Bill and Kathy and Mike and Lauren, you guys are great, and we, uh, we all appreciate that. And uh, it's a place that we can do something we love to do, and a lot of the times um, I feel really alive on the golf course, still competing. I don't play a lot. I mean, this year I played, I think, five times all year, but when I play, I'm excited to go play. And it's a, great, it's a great combination because I can go out and play and compete, and then I look forward to going back and coaching and being with my family. So um, I'm thankful for those opportunities. I'm lucky, I've been lucky to work with some of the best teachers in golf and to get to know them and just talk to them. Not necessarily, not necessarily work with them on my game, but just to spend time with them and get to know them. And guys like Ron Gring and Mike Shannon and Mike Adams and Butch Harmon, uh, Bob Rotella, Jim Fannin, Jim Hardy, these guys have made time for me out of their schedules to come down and spend a few hours with them or a few days and get to know them. And that's, that's a huge honor and an and opportunity for me to do that. And without, without, do, without you know, being a coach and being a player, I don't think they let me in. I don't, I don't, I don't think they let me uh, get close to them if, if, if I haven't had some success playing and coaching. And, uh, you know, again, I'm lucky to do that. And Neil, I still, I still bounce ideas off of Neil and talk to Neil. And, and uh, you know, that, that helps a lot. Obviously, it's, it, it, it gives me a refuge to go 
to go spend time. Um, and lastly, it may not seem important, but I'm lucky to have great equipment companies behind me. If you look at the champagne glasses, it's got Wilson Golf on there. And I, uh, I've been with Wilson now for a few years, and it's a Chicago company. And I thank Tim Clark and all them for, for, uh, for still supporting me and, uh, and supporting Illinois players. And, uh, you know, things like that it just come to, my, come to mind that I'm very thankful for. And, uh, you know, in, in conclusion, you know, like I talked about, I'm, I'm, I'm a lucky person, but I've been touched by many, many great people. And I'm, I'm thankful for the game of golf itself. It's been great to me. We kid at home all the time, you know. Golf's been very good to us. And uh, Will and Wyatt, are, I think, are starting to see that. And, uh, you know, we're very thankful for that. And I'm especially thankful for the friends and the family that are here tonight that came. And uh, it's not an easy drive from Champaign to Chicago at brush hour on a Friday. And, uh, <laughs> and it, 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 it means a lot to everybody here. And, and, uh, and to Michael Miller uh, the, the PGA, my goal is, is to, uh, at 47 years old, being the youngest member in this Hall of Fame is what I've been told, which is an honor. But my goal is to have you change that plaque every year. And hopefully that plaque won't stay the same. Hopefully it'll keep growing and I'll still be competing well and I'll still be coaching well. And so my inner goal is to, uh, is to keep you changing that plaque as often as I can. So uh, to the committee, thank you for having me and thank you for, uh, for putting me in this exclusive club. And, and uh, I'm proud to be an Illinois, Illinois uh, you know, citizen and Illinois uh, PGA member. Thank you.